guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to be bringing you my updated review of the Apex ROM. Uh, lots of changes have been made since the review that I did back in February. Uh, Big Shea has really been working on this ROM. Uh, right away you'll see the new boot animation. Well, this isn't really new. This has been around for a little while. Somebody had suggested that I do a boot animation first and then jump directly into the ROM review. So that's kind of what we're doing today. So what I will say first of all is that this ROM is by one of my favorite developers of all time, Big Shay, uh, or some of you guys know him as Fab Droid, and he was really one of the main developers for the Droid X, so a lot of guys that watch this channel already know uh, what he is capable of. So he has a really fast, stable, snappy ROM. Um, of course, it's going to act up on me when I say all that. But this is version 1.1.2. He had released version 1.1.3, and it had a bug in it. Um, so he had to pull that. But this one is very stable. Uh, there's not any bugs to speak of, but it doesn't have all the features that 1.1.3 had. Now, as soon as he gets the phone dialer bug squared away, he's going to re-release that, and it's going to have some awesome features like LTE toggle. I think it'll have a theme chooser in it and some other things. But we'll go ahead and jump into the customization settings that Apex has as it stands. Uh, the first thing we want to do here is go to About Phone. This is built on Android version 4.0.4. It's the latest version, IMM76i. Uh, and then you'll see that the build number is version 1.1.2. If we go back here, uh, we can go into the customizations. And now this was supposed to come with a Galaxy Nexus application. I think it was supposed to be a ROM control application, but for some reason when I installed the ROM it didn't load. Now I went back and I tried to wipe data and uh, wipe cache and I still couldn't find it, but what you were supposed to be able to do is uh, just a few settings, some color settings, and also a setting for quick charge, uh, which I'm kind of weary of anyhow, but most people say that it's okay just um, something happened to me where on my last Nexus the little USB port went bad and it was directly after I enabled the quick charge so I'm not really concerned about that anyhow uh, we'll jump into CPU performance of course this is on the lean kernel and if you go into max CPU you see that you can go all the way up to 1350 megahertz or 1.35 gigahertz and it is pretty stable at that but you're gonna kill your battery a little quicker if you go to scaling governor um, some people prefer Interactive X. I'll just stick with the stock Interactive. And of course, you can set your free memory uh, as high as you want it. It comes stock at 79 megabytes, so I'll leave it stock. Uh, automatic backlight. You can enable that or disable it. So if you enable it, uh, it should be able to uh, change the backlight according to your lighting settings. Like if you're inside, it'll be dimmer. If you're outside, it'll be brighter. And I'm going to go ahead and unenable that. Uh, device rotation settings, it doesn't come stock with 180 turned on. 180 allows you to turn the phone all the way upside down, which gives you really easy access uh, to the headphone jack when it's sitting in a cup holder or something like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I go ahead and check that 180 degrees. So we'll go back into the settings. You have your notification power widgets, which are your pull down widgets up here. Um, let's see. We can change those by going to widget buttons and we can choose whatever we want. So like uh, that LTE toggle was supposed to come with the 1.1.3 build which was pulled. So I'm sure we'll see that LTE toggle soon. But we have every other toggle that you can think of. And you can even change the button order. So if you click widget button order you can change those to any order that you like. We'll go back into settings and we'll go to battery style. It comes stock with the uh, offset percentage. You can go gummy battery bar or circle battery, which is pretty cool. I like that. And it gives you the circle battery. Clock style, you can go center clock, right clock, or hide the clock all together. I like the center clock. And customer, I have a custom carrier text. So instead of Verizon, you can have something like Droid, Modder, X. That's always fun. And you can also go ahead and turn on your volume music controls and volume wake as well.
We can go into the launcher settings. There's a few settings that you can change in here. I always like to remove the search bar by unchecking that and I like to re check the resize any widget. Uh, so that just allows you to resize like your YouTube widget or your bookmarks widget or your clock widget uh, right there on the screen. You can change your transition effect. I prefer cube out. And on your drawer settings, you can change some things in there too. And just so everyone knows, that is trebuchet. And I understand. Everybody says, you need to learn French. I think the very first time I said anything about the trebuchet launcher, I called it tray bucket. So ha ha ha, laugh out loud. This is the lock screen. You can uh, set up to five locks in here. Uh, so all you have to do is drag there and click OK. And go to applications and you can go ahead and set what you want. So if I wanted to go, like let's say I wanted to go directly to Twitter, there it would be. Or I could set, you know, YouTube. Twitter and YouTube are probably the two most used app applications followed by like my Droid forums and my Roots Wiki applications. So if we set like a ah, Roots Wiki, what the heck. And now if we turn it off, go to our lock screen. Hmm. Oh, I didn't save it. Ah. We'll save it. You must save. Now we have all of our quick options there. So if we go back, we can go into the navigation bar settings and we'll click navigation bar. You have to turn it on. Then once you turn it on, you can go down here and change things. You can make that uh, your recent button instead of your back button. I'll go back to the back button. You can add a button over here and make that another menu button or a recent button or leave it empty. Uh, so anyhow, I, I kind of already have mine set up. I've got my back button, my home button, my search button, and my menu button there. So I'll go ahead and turn that back off and go back. So that's pretty much it for the settings in Apex. Like I said, this is very fast. And I'm sitting at 84% battery. Uh, and I pulled this off the charger maybe two hours ago. So this is an extended battery. But you can't really rely on me for battery life because I'm always doing things on my phone. So I'm streaming something like constantly, YouTube, Stitcher, music, whatever. So you can't really rely on me uh, because I also overclock the crud out of my CPU as well. Um, but anyhow, this does get pretty good battery life. It gets uh, at least better than average and it gets better than stock. So I will say that if we go back home, we can change our wallpaper. It comes with Apex wallpapers, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you have several to choose from there. And it comes stock with this one. Uh, so anyways, guys, this is Apex, the latest version. And as you see, it's very, very quick. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install this. Uh, we'll reboot and reboot into recovery. Of course, you'll download the files from the links in the description. Go ahead and have those on your SD card. If you download those directly to your phone, they're going to be on the SD card. My preferred recovery is uh, Team Win Recovery Project. I know a lot of people are still using Clockwork Mod Recovery. But you would do the same steps in Clockwork Mod Recovery as you would in uh, TWRP. So if you're following along, you go to Wipe and factory reset, you will slide to wipe. I'm not gonna do that right now. And then you're gonna wipe cache, slide to wipe. Dalvik cache, slide to wipe. When you're finished with that, you'll go back and install. You're looking for uh, Big Shea Toro Apex version 1.1.2.zip. You'll select that and then you will swipe to install. Then you're looking for your G apps. Uh, April 29th is the latest G apps, so you'll click that and swipe to flash. When that's all finished, you'll have an option to reboot the phone. I don't because I didn't, I didn't flash it, so I'll go ahead and go back and reboot the system. And it's as simple as that, guys. That is the updated review of Apex. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to click on the subscribe button right 
there. I click the like button right there. Just give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. It really does help me. I know you guys think, oh, well, you know, it's, it's just two seconds, but your two seconds helps me a ton, and I really do appreciate it. And you can think of it as like a pat on the back for me anyhow. Uh, but guys, I really do appreciate your likes um, and your subscriptions, and you guys can check me out at Droid Modder X for all the latest news, rhymes, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModderX. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.